Hey, uh, what you see before you is uh, my pickups for today, Saturday. Um, everything I, I got, I spent about $379 on. And again, I'm, I'm not unsatisfied with what I bought, but it's, it's not stuff I'm going to get rich off of. Uh, there's definitely some good buys here. Um, and then there's stuff that is like, I know I'll make money off of eventually. Uh, let's see. Okay. In terms of, I'll do games first. Uh, for $40, I got a Wii. And, uh, let me see. Okay, it's it's the one there where you can play the GameCube games on, so it's the first generation. And it came with two controllers and the nunchucks and the balance board. And, uh, mostly the person I bought it from, uh, bought it from was like an, a very athletically, athletically fit woman. So it was all exercise, like Samba de Amigo, which is some kind of dance. Uh, guitar here, I don't know what that, but then it's just dance, we fit. And she was actually... During the sale, she was dressed in kind of like workout clothes, so I don't know. Guitar Hero 3. We play. These are not games that have any real value. I will sell the Wii probably for about 50 bucks with a game. And then I'll sell the balance board for 20 to 30 um, with the dance, if, if it's here. Yeah, I'll sell it with this for like 20, 30. So for my 40 bucks, I'll probably get about 70. And then the games will sell. They're nonsense games, so they're not going to sell easy. Um, other games that I got. Let's see. One second. Okay, here's my other games that I got today. I did not get a lot of games, and I hardly got any old school. In terms of old school, I, I got a, some Sega Genesis Spider-Man X-Men, Mortal Kombat, and a Sega Genesis controller. Do not know if it works. Um, this is fun. I got to put batteries in it. I don't know if it's going to work, though. It's a, a Pac-Man 2. It's one of them handhelds. It's from uh, two... 2001, so it's not even that old, but whatever. Um, Hot Wheels, that's not a game. <laughs> um, I got it for $3, I got a Prince of Persia, Rival Swords, whatever. I'm not going to get rich off of that. Uh, for a dollar, I got a Finding Nemo. This is one of the sales. Many of the sales I go to, I'm like, do you have any games? And they're like, yeah, we had a bunch of games this morning, but somebody kind of just bought them all. So, blah, 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 blah. so and that's, that happened in this. The guy, the, the sale I bought this at, the guy said he had 50 games. Uh, and I bought them all except for this. Um, Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PS2. And I get Grand Theft Auto for the PS2. And uh, there's a Grand Theft Auto Vice City PS2. Bought that loose disc for a dollar. This other stuff I paid like a dollar for. And then for four dollars, I got this booklet of uh, loose discs. And that's got a Tekken tag. And I'm going to stick this in a binder that I have. And I'll just say four dollars or three dollars or two dollars. for Rainbow Six, PlayStation 2. Um, Volcano Island, this is a DVD, Volcano Island, Space Chimps, Spec Ops, Stealth Patrol, Matt Hoffman. There's nothing great here. Kingdom Hearts, that's probably the most valuable game in the lot. Um, 50 Cent, Bulletproof MX Rider, Disc 2 for Lost Odyssey, great. Uh, Power Rangers, Time Force, Ultimate Alliance 2 for Spider-Man, that's probably a fun game, but I don't think it's worth anything. Smackdown 2, Dragon Ball Z, Infinite World, not sure if that one's worth much, and Shadow the Hedgehog, and Justice League Heroes. Yeah, so that's uh, uh, almost it on games. For $20, I just took them all, because they were like 2 bucks each, and 20 for all, so I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll just take them all. I got um, Miss Pac-Man, Maze Madness, uh, Hannah Montana, remember her? She came in like a wrecking ball, the cat in the hat. Some of the games are nonsense, but um, here's one. Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2. That's a better one. It's probably like a $15 game. Uh, Nintendogs, whatever. I'll sell that for 3 or $4. Uh, Battleship, sorry. Connect 4, Trouble. That's probably like a $4 game. Um, Dolphins. Uh, Sean Johnson. Uh, Biggest Loser, Bratz. Uh, another Mario Luigi. So, see, as you can see, for 20 bucks, it's it's a fine deal. I'll make money. Uh, Nicktoons, Volcano Island, and uh, Sims 3. All right. Uh, let me do jewelry next. Now, you know what? I'll do jewelry. Okay. Um, for $131, I got this box of CDs. I paid a dollar a piece. Lots of great rock in there. Here's some Jethro Tull. There's Skinner in there. There's Zeppelin. There's Eric Clapton. There's just everybody rock and roll. I'm very happy with that box. And then for 50 cents to a dollar, I got like this stack here, all these are uh, 50 cent CDs. And as you can see, Fleetwood Mac, Blackout Peas, Kelly Clarkson, Pink, uh, just 
some stuff. Um, and these were a buck a piece. Like this 60s flower power, I paid a dollar. Uh, like uh, this five distant, I paid five dollars for it. And these were all sealed new. So it, these were a dollar a uh, piece. They were like, well, they're not all sealed, but uh, some were sealed new. Dollar piece classic. Uh, here's my DVDs Bruce Fist of Furry. I paid a dollar piece for these Finding Nemo, uh, Winnie the Pooh, Pooh's Great Adventure, Enchanted, Easy A, and Bambi 2. Not a bad selection, and for a dollar piece, I'll just uh, double my money on those. Um, let me do collectibles, and I'll finish up with jewelry. I already showed you the big box of CDs. That was the end of the day, and that actually paid off because I had a bus I was handing out business cards, and um, they called me back while I was on the road. They said, yeah, you said you buy CDs. Uh, I got a bunch. You want to come over? I'm like, okay, and I came over, and I bought all those. Um, this is just some artwork. It, it's some kind of Parisian street scene or somewhere in France. Pencil sign, whatever. It was 10 bucks. I bought it from someone I know I like. I'm not going to get rich off of it. This is, uh, it's a pencil sign frame uh, print. I don't know who the artist is. It's like a litho. Um, but it's, it's that, uh, the guild, the art guild. And there's a certificate of authenticity. And it's got the artist. Artist. I don't know. If you can get stuff that has the APF. And it's like, it's an art guild, right? Um. For inexpensive, these artists at least are well-known and recognized artists, and they're important enough to um, have their stuff reproduced by a, an important art guild like that. And some some artists that have had their work done by here are very well-known artists. Everybody knows and whatever. Okay, and then I bought this. This is only four dollars, and this is actually a Frederick Remington um, litho. And what the lady told me, and I wrote it on the back, it's a Cody Museum restrike from um, an engraving. So. Uh, for four dollars, I don't know what it's worth. I know it's worth more than four dollars, uh, and of course it's Frederick Remington. So a lot of people like Frederick Remington and whatever. Uh, this big thing here, it's like uh, an embroidery, and it's Tibetan. Um, it's not ridiculously old, but it was only ten dollars. So if I get fifty dollars for it, great. I don't care. Um, I'll do the jewelry last. I got two alabaster lamps. One of them's beat up. And one of them is in good condition, but they were both five dollars. An alabaster lamp in an antique store could be hundred plus, uh, hundreds if they're big. So for five dollars, whatever I get, I don't care. Um, I don't know if this is old, but it's kind of cute. It was a dollar. It's got a little elephant, baby elephant waving, whatever. Uh, a nice Murano uh, control bubble um, ashtray. I guess I think I, I get mixed up with this Mercer. Oh, I see a little nick here. Ah, whatever. It was three dollars. You know, who cares? I should. I'll mark it like fifteen. Um, one sale. I bought this is a hand painted. Uh, whatever. It's Fenton. This is um, like n the stuff they were doing in the nineties. As long as it doesn't have any damage, I can probably sell it online for thirty or so, or probably ten to fifteen at a flea market. This is like a Cambridge. It's missing a lid. It's probably some kind of powder or it's, or flower frog or something like that. Um, they call this stuff cranberry glass and. It's kind of nice. I, something weird's going. Like, look at the glue on the inside. That's weird. Um, but whatever. It's cranberry glass. It's vintage. It's probably from the 40s or 30s. Um, there's a name for this. I don't remember when they when they a uh, Bristol glass, where they take glass and they paint on it. Uh, this would be Bristol glass, I guess. And I think it's kind of an older one. That's a bubble in there. Um, it's nice. It was two dollars. Whatever. Um, this is just a green kind of utilitarian wear. Um, depression green um, glass. I only paid one or two dollars. I don't even know. Um, there's jewelry in there. This is yellowware. This is what they call yellowware. These kind of cream colored bowls. And uh, it was like two dollars, I think. I'll probably get ten to twenty or thirty dollars for I don't really know yet. Um, I got these sifters. I'm not really sure what they're for. That might be for berries or, or jams or something. Beats me. Um, but I got a whole bunch from there, like tin litho. So, um, you know, everything in this box is probably about five or eight dollars I paid a buck a piece for these and these are frogs and I got like little things on the bottom I don't I don't recognize the maker just yet I'll figure them out but for a dollar here's one this one was like a carnival glass kinda this says iridescent this is purple whatever you know if I even if I get five for the three um, doorknobs laser colored glass ones I think these might be kinda old and the colored ones are worth them way more than the clear ones so uh, you know, I got one that's a set of amber, a little nicked up, but whatever. I think I paid a buck a piece for them, or maybe 50 cents a piece. And these are curtain, um, 
I forget what they call them, but they're for curtains. You put them on the curtains. Uh, that leaves the jewelry. Um, in terms of jewelry, yeah, that's, oh yeah, I got a, I, the only perfume I got today was a Curve Crush set, and it, I, for, it came for $12. The, thing, the tin says $60 for this set, so I bought it for $12 with some CDs. So I probably paid anywhere from like, say, 8 Say I paid 8 for it. Some, a leather skirt, 3 bucks, whatever. Um, jewelry. Um, this stuff was in the 2 or $3 range. I don't remember exactly what we paid for it. And this stuff we'll probably sell in the 10 to $15 range. Like here's a nice pin, not signed by anyone. Um, blue rhinestone necklace. I don't know why she liked this. Um, crystals, crystals, crystals. Nothing here will get us rich. Um, then at one sale we bought some silver jewelry. Here's some lipsticks for a dollar. Unused, uh, very clean. Uh, for forty dollars, I got this assorted silver here, and I'll just go through it in the bowl. It's all back. A pair of earrings, silver. Uh, a nice ring, silver. Uh, another nice ring, silver. And probably like we'll sell the earrings for eight, the ring for ten, ten, twenty, twenty-eight so far. Uh, another ring, let's probably sell for ten. Um, more earrings, say eight. So that's like what forty-five, forty-six. And then this will probably sell for 15 It's just a bracelet. So that's like 60 And then this will probably be like 20 to 35 Probably 30, 30 in the $30 range. So that's like 90 bucks. So over time, it's kind of a, a straight out kind of double my money. And that's it. That's everything that I got today. The best of everything.